questions on that? Circle 10. 
circle 10. Keep the pulse in 10 because you're going to come off that and again feel kind of like you have to be really elegant when you have a tide note. Okay, and make sure that the pulse begins again in the not an accent on the G, but just an actual understanding of where the pulse is. So people, when they're listening, should be able to take notes and know exactly what you're playing without even having notes in front of them. Okay, um, out of 20, okay, and, and circle 10, 12, and I'm thinking, done with circle 12. And why did I say about 12? Um, yeah, huge contrast, I already did that. Okay, any questions? And then I'll play the thing. Come on. Really? Fine. Let me face you. I guess I'm supposed to face the camera. to have an open throat. A 
all it does is make the, the, the airstream much bigger, and then at the lips, you have to cram the airstream together to, to crush it through the reed. So really, it's not tightening, but it's this, the placement of the tongue. I'll get to the tongue in a sec. The placement of the tongue is what keeps the sound happening. So you can make an O for the tongue like that, so say that, like, kind of be dramatic, say O, O, O. You can say ah, which is a flat, low tongue. You can say E, which is, you see how high the back of, say E, which is the top of the back of the tongue is high. Or you can say ew, or you, ew, 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 ew. which means the tongue at the top is curved but high. And that's the placement of a tongue when you play the oboe. Again, no, no tension in the throat. There should be absolutely no tension. You, you've seen me play now. You know I play with hardly any tension. Okay, even my amateur is completely like, okay, I'm going to play, pull my oboe in and out of my mouth. That's how I play the oboe, okay? Yeah. See? All of it's right here. Oh, wait. Now wiggle it side to side. See what I mean? Here. You have, you have muscle here. You don't have muscle here. See? You come in. We're just goofing around now. See? Do you want to do this, Ryan? Not really, but he will. In and out, too, guys. Come on. That's important before you start tonguing because tonguing you can't start there. You have to start with where the tongue is. So call out um, the vowels A E I O U to me. Okay, so I'm going to play a high A. You know if you have a problem with your reed, it'll bottom out if you drop. Right? Right? Yes. Yes. Nod. Okay. So call out the letters for me. A. A. E. I. O. U. See? That's a different language. There's not more than five. Okay, <laughs> maybe you lie, I don't know. So when you have the U position, and that's why I'm starting there, all of a sudden this is disengaged and this is looser up here, okay? If you're trying to go tuka tuka with your throat open, puka puka, it's not going to happen, okay? So when you finally get that concept of that, and you go tick 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 so right now, you can do it, go tick 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 If you need to leave, please guys go, it's probably fine, but tick 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 okay? Do you see how the K is right there between the molars? Tick 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 can Clarinets can every now and then do it. My, my principal can, but it's not normal. But it's not normal for oboists either. But if you can, it's amazing. Thanks for coming. Okay. Okay. So the hard part comes when you have to put it on the oboe. So just do it on the reed. First. When you first start learning double tongue, it's violent. It sounds hideous. And it's awful, okay? It's because you're learning a whole new way to do it. Especially if you're not using your tongue right when you're regularly playing the oboe. So tuka tuka tuka. And then you can even go like that, okay? So what's weird is the T actually connects with the, the reed. The K doesn't, okay? And so it's not like trumpet or flute where there's not any difference with the sound. Ours is good. You can come on in. I'm, I'm done any time. We're spending time on double tonguing. Okay. Um, so you can, the T actually connects with it. So why I'm saying to you that the K is violent is it has to be to make the reed speak, okay? So again, for like a year, you're going to sound horrific. And do not practice this more than five, even less than five minutes a day, because it will make you tense. And it won't work. It'll get worse, all right? So I'm going, ta ka and my tongue's doing this. It feels like this. And the first time you do it, you're going to go, just like that. And you need to spend time on the K that I'm doing. It's really hard to make the K happen. So then you go. Taka taka, kata kata, and then. And you just keep making up your own rhythms until you can go to these things right here, which makes it massively much easier. Um, Then you can really sound like a little chicken. <laughs> Your goal is to sound like a chicken, okay? Especially on this piece. But it really, really helps. And then the hard part, obviously, is coordinating it with your fingers. 
What she like in circle four? See? Now I'm like all blah because I'm trying to teach it to you. Like that. Then you have to get it coordinated, and that's tough. But my, but try it because later on you won't you won't really necessarily need it for something like this. But there'll be a passage that you have a trumpet. Da 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 da. Mess with it like that and man like that. Um, or there'll be something with flute that you have just a gesture of da 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 da, and the oboe is usually like da and just flutter hum. Like that, right? <laughs> so, but you actually can't flutter tongue if you let air escape the side of your mouth. Yes, not pretty. Um, you're really still recording, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> you need to learn all these techniques to be able to grab them anytime you need them. Okay? So try that and great. Thanks so much. Text me if you have questions.